Perfect. Thor uh, in the uh, field. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Thor's like, I wasn't doing anything. I was just grooving myself. Oh. Oh. Bye, Thor. All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Cats and Pops. Here we have cats and cat drama and Funko Pops. <laughs> Thor's, or Loki, or Ronan's grumpy now, apparently, because Thor swatted at him. Uh-oh. And now he's going to sit right in front of the camera. <laughs> guys welcome back to cats and pops part two we had a technical difficulty uh, one of the cats knocked over the camera again um uh, but yeah so today we're going to do uh just go over some of our recent hauls that we're really excited about and then we're going to open up a which mr rector do today a box that i didn't grab <laughs> so i'm gonna go grab it while she's showing you their pops <laughs> <laughs> so while he's picking one of the many mystery boxes that we have in our house to open for today, uh, I'm going to go over some of my most recent hauls. Um, so if you guys saw a video, a few videos ago, I think now, uh, in one of our previous videos, I got a Captain Crook, which was actually a pretty great grail. It was worth, I think, like $65, $85, something like that. So it was pretty cool. Um, and we just hadn't gotten any of the McDonald's pops yet, like the McDonald's ad icon pops yet. So we got that one, and I really, really liked it, and it kind of spurred me on. So now I am trying to collect all the McDonald's ad icons. <laughs> so I went on a huge haul, and I got a bunch of them now. So the first one, and probably my favorite so far, is Fireman McNugget, because I think that is adorable and hilarious. And also, nuggets are, like, my favorite thing at McDonald's, so... That's really cute. Uh, and then we have Birdie the Early Bird. She's also really cute. I think she's like dressed up like she's getting ready to go swimming too, which I think is really cute. And like a little swimsuit with a little goggle, like her little goggles and towel. And then <clears throat> we have, I mean, rock out Ronald McDonald, obviously. Uh, just classic. That's pretty cool. And like I said before too, uh, my dad actually used to man like manage a... Uh, McDonald's store when I was really little so uh, I definitely remember going to McDonald's a lot when I was a little kid uh, and then we got the fry guys or fry kids and this is a Funko limited edition so the green and red fry kids which I think is a really cute little duel so yeah so those are all my new uh, oh my gosh there's slobber on the table from Loki's uh, yeah, I think yeah for our last video um, but yeah so that's my most recent haul yeah, so Mary also got me a few new pops. She got me this Sauron from the Lord of the Rings. Tough to see because it's so black. <laughs> it's pretty dark, but yeah. You can see it on the back there. Yeah. And because we're getting, getting so many of the uh, Marvel 80 Years in our mystery boxes, she got me a 80 Years Spider-Man from Hot Top. I think it's supposed to be metallic, too. It's kind of hard to tell. It yeah. looks like it might be on parts of the suit. I don't know. I, don't know. I can't tell. I hard. thought it was when I ordered it, but I could be wrong. And we got from Box Lunch this new Nezuko figure. So if you guys don't watch Demon Slayer uh, and you like anime, you I highly recommend it. The movie was fantastic. Yes. We just saw it today. Yeah. It was really, really good. So um, if you are interested, I highly recommend you watch it. Yeah. It's one of our probably top favorite animes of all time. It's really, really well done. And the animation itself is just super, super cool. So it's a really good one. Yeah, so I was thinking we could pull an Audible and open two boxes. Oh, okay. We're not going to battle. We're just going to open two mystery boxes. Okay. So I don't think there's a lot of pops in either of them, right? They're I'm going to go off small. I'm gonna go off of uh, memory. Uh, this is a Funky Seekers mystery box. I think there's two pops in here. But I'm a little nervous because it does not look big enough to have pops in it. It's yeah. very, like, oddly shaped. No, uh, you can pop. fit, yeah, you can fit, like, two. Like that? Mm-hmm, yeah, there's okay. two. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can have two in there for sure. I believe this was, uh, the top hits were the three big ad icons, the Frankenberry, Count Chocula. Oh, okay. And there's another one. I don't know. I wasn't really interested in getting any of those three, but, and I don't remember how much this costs. It was relatively inexpensive, but there were a bunch of other hits that you could get. Uh, I, 
I want to say like you're guaranteed one from the picture. I don't know. It's a guaranteed value. I think. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Basically, uh, know. we've we've had pretty good luck with Funky Seekers. We really enjoyed their boxes. Uh, you know, they're they're cool. I like them. Yeah, I think we've done one so far, and that it was a really good box. It was really cute. Yeah. We got some good pops in that one. So we each get to pull one. Okay, perfect. Sounds good to me. Where's bubble wrap? Was this the one that did the... Yeah, they did the black bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. That was really cool, too. I like that. So choose your pop. All right. I'm going to go... Let's see if we can't see. I'm going to go the one farthest from me. On the... Is it just one pop? No, it's two, right? It's two, yeah. They're just kind of stuck together in the tape. They do a very good job packaging. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. You go first? I think so, too. I'm just gonna get mine ready to go. I don't know. <laughs> I might be ready to go faster than I am. Oh, I see it. Okay. I see it. It's coming. Oh, okay, okay. Number five from the Umbrella Academy. Oh, I, this is the normal one. Yeah, just the normal one. I think we oh, have. Oh, yeah, I believe I have that one. Yeah, I think we have this one. But we do really like the Umbrella Academy, and number five is easily the best character in that show, so that's I think this cool. one's worth a decent amount right now. Oh, really? Or it was. Okay. Obviously, the chase is worth more, but, yeah, not bad. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's not a bad one, though. But, unfortunately, it's one we have. That's true. So, hopefully, this is not one that we have. It did so. come in a protector, though, which is nice. I do not have this one. But it's uh, another video game one. <laughs> Wait, it's or what? Kingdom Hearts? Disney. Not is Kingdom. it the game or what? I don't know. Kingdom don't Hearts know. is a game. That's what I thought, yeah. Kingdom Hearts. Game. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Aqua? 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 I don't know. She got the key. So she. I think she's like a main one. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know anything about this game, so I'm not sure. I don't know if it's really worth anything. Uh, I don't know. It's a cool looking pop. I liked playing Kingdom Hearts when I was younger. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's find out. Do you want to open the next? Yes. Keep going and open the next box too? Okay, so this is the CBB Practicals box? Yes. Four pops. Um, I think it's a damaged box. Guaranteed value. No, no. Damaged. Uh, it was their April scavenger hunt box. Uh, April something. Uh, I don't know. It's like their April mystery box. Four pops. Yeah, this isn't worth anything. <laughs> How much is it worth? Eight dollars. Eight. Okay, that's not. Yeah. Um. And then and the number five. I hope I didn't pay too much for this one. Uh, he was worth twenty seven right now. The uh, chase is worth 70. Wow, this is going up. Okay. According to Fungo Labs, so. but Got it. Okay, so, okay, so these you, so, you can see. So, would have been a great uh, box if we didn't already have number five. That's true. But we already have number five. But, I mean, at least it's something we collect. But in some boxes where it's just, like, nothing that we're interested in. All right, I have this one open. Since I went first on the last one, you can go first on this one. Where's the shit on right? It's on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I jacked it. <laughs> no blurring in this video. I had to learn how to blur. <laughs> Let's see. They're all on protectors. Okay. That's good. So I'm just going to pull this one. <gasps> oh, we needed this one. We have that one. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes, this is a good pull. Oh, uh, awesome. uh, but I don't like that it doesn't. Like, it's got the special edition sticker. But at least we have it now. But now we have. I think isn't he worth a lot too? Shinzo. Yeah, yeah. He's selling. I mean, not a lot. Like twenty five. That's still pretty selling good though. Selling for like twenty five on McCarty. But yeah, this is a big pull. Well, with the shared sticker, it might be less. But. but it's. I mean, we need the pop for our collection because we obviously collect a lot of My Hero Academia. Like we're trying to finish our My Hero Academia collection, and there are. A ton of pops in that collection, and that was one that we didn't have, so it's awesome. Yes, but I wish it wasn't the special edition. Sticker. I know, I know. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Ralph Wiggum. Oh, that's a good one from The Simpsons. It's a Funko limited edition. He's holding paste, <laughs> so apparently he's paste. 
I actually don't watch The Simpsons. Like, I've never really watched it. I've watched a little bit of The Simpsons. Um, I think he's like a real, really not too intelligent kid. He's in that meme. Not right. Uh, meme. Where the. He's sitting on the bus by himself and he's like, I'm in trouble or whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Then I do know where he's from. I, well, I know the meme at least that he's from. That's funny. Okay, cool. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool pop. I know The Simpsons is, are crazy popular. It's a super popular show, so. Those are two big hits. Those are big hits. Actually. Now I'm really curious as to what this box was. <laughs> and, oh, no, another Overwatch. Another Overwatch. Oh, gosh. We don't want Overwatches. Target exclusive. It's a cool looking guy. He's Doomfist. Really cool. Doomfist. Uh, okay. <gasps> oh, I, I actually kind of like this one. Uh, this is Mrs. Peacock from Clue. So she's a Hot Topic exclusive. Mary and loves Clue. I do love Clue. He Can you guys believe he had never played Clue like growing up as a kid? I got it. I was super excited. Didn't we get the Bob's Burgers version? Listen, I'm a Monopoly man, okay? He is. He's obsessed with Monopoly. And I'm obsessed with Clue. And we got, uh, I found a Bob's Burgers edition of Clue one time at like one of our local stores in our mall. And I got super excited. So I bought it. And then I made him play it, just the two of us, which was kind of lame, honestly, with two, just two people. But he had never played Clue before. He, like, didn't get it. He's never seen the movie either. Has anyone seen the Clue movie, like, the older movie? It's so good. It's so good. Uh, yeah. He's missing out. Thor Ragnarok sticker. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a cool-looking one. They like sending us Marvel stickers. They know we're Marvel fans. They know. Fans. They know we're Marvel fans. Thanks like, for watching, sweet baby collectibles. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't think they watch our videos. I don't know. I mean, this is a pretty good box, though. Other than the yeah, Overwatch. This is a great box. Yeah. I mean, you gotta give, throw in, like, the pops nobody wants. The random ones, yeah. I don't know. Maybe you guys like Overwatch. So, stick around for the cat pick of the week. We're gonna pick one from each of the polls, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I see what you're saying. one of these two, one of these two, and then one of these two. Sounds good. I think that's all right guys so we forgot to say the values for our sweet baby collectibles box Thor is currently in the way because we just uh did Cappy the week out of order so overwatch doom fist the lowest value pop i've ever seen on the funko app three dollars terrible clue she was uh, $10. Hot Topic exclusive. Not too bad. She's not vaulted, I don't think. Don't eat the stickers. <laughs> All right. My hero, uh, Shinzo. With the GameStop exclusive sticker, he was 34 So we're going to go with 25 because that's kind of what, what I've seen on McCarty. Even though he is in very, very good shape. So we we'll probably get more than 25 But obviously, we're not going to sell him because we want him. And then our big hit of the box was Ralph. Some of you guys might have already known that, but we did not. Yeah, I had no idea he was worth so much. So. I thought I, I I knew like the Simpsons pops were kind of worth some some money, but uh, he must have. I mean, limited though. limited yeah. edition, so I I'm, I'm guessing he's gonna be vaulted soon. He was worth fifty five, so I think we definitely got our value back with just these two. Cause I definitely didn't pay more than a hundred. Yeah, no, definitely not. So yeah, so we did actually pretty good value wise with the Sweet it's Baby really Collectibles. Box. Box. Yeah. Sweet Baby Collectibles has not let us down yet. Nope. Not yet. So yeah, don't forget to comment your favorite pop down below. I mean, it's not a battle, so nobody gets a point for it, but just let us know down below if you liked any of these pops or uh, what your favorite pop was. And now stick around for Cat Pick of the Week. Yes. <laughs> Kilala, do you want to pick this time? Kilala. Oh no. <laughs> Where's ready to go? Okay, but you gotta back off for a second. Can you distract him? Why? Here you go. Here, do it again. Do it again. Come here, Loki. There's no. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's not worth it as much as I thought. Who are you gonna pick? He's going straight for no. Oh! We got a double pick. Oh. Thor Sorry. chose uh, Ralph, Ooh. and Loki chose number five. They are not anime fans. Oh, there you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my 
country. So double pick this week. Ralph and number five. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you next time.